because He has been made righteous in us. So why has He been made righteous? Why, is, why did He die? Because He's revealing the glory of God. What is God's glory? His righteousness being declared, being demonstrated. And what are we? Beneficiaries. Praise the Lord. There's life right there. There's life that, oh, by the way, three days, three days later, he rose again. What did that declare? That he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And that someday he will come back to take us as himself. Take us as himself. The fact is, there's so many millions that have died that have not had that chance. They were unborn. It says in Scripture 2, that they have a new life too. Praise the Lord. There's a place. There's a place. There is redemption in all of this as well. It doesn't make it right. There is redemption. It says in the book of Jonah, in, in the account of Jonah, that God gives second chances, third chances, fourth chances. Chances. Lots of chances. He did that to Nineveh. Nineveh was a sinful, sinful place. Jonah declared the word of God. He didn't want to, but he got, got to anyway. They repented. Even though Jonah got mad, God's work was done. God's work was done. There is still time, folks. There is still time, brothers and sisters. God has not finished with us yet. He's not finished with us yet. There are still people of God all over. And what is our job? Our job is to tell others about the goodness of God through Jesus Christ. The righteousness of God. So we have a job. Um, I think it's the last slide. But we have a job, that, that, folks. We have a job. We're coming up to a place where going to vote? Who, who do we vote for? The video that you're going to receive, uh, 180, Ray Comfort talks a lot about when he, when he, uh, he tells people about what abortion actually is. And uh, he says, are you going to vote for someone that's pro-abortion? No. At one time, yeah, they, they, would go, they had no problem with abortion. But guess what? When they were told the truth, when they were told that, hey, there's life in the world, and you were taking the life, are you going to vote for someone that is pro abortion, pro, pro choice? No. There's no way they can. When you, when you reveal the truth, when you reveal the truth and you want to declare that you want to accept that truth, there's no way it can be done. So we have a choice. And, and I know this is a conservative Southeast Texas thing. You're like, oh, everybody running is for a while. Well, there's other issues too, of course. But that's a big issue. And it's a big issue because, well, not just the numbers, it's a big issue because it's murder. Yeah. I mean, the number could be five. So there's time to repent. There's time to realize that, hey, perhaps we've been selfish in this area. I know I've been. When I think lightly about these issues, there's time to repent. Let's all stand. We're going to pray. We're going to have an invitation song. Lord, I thank you for this time. Thank you for your word and what it reveals. Reveals your truth, Lord. Reveals your glory, your righteousness. It reveals who we are too, Lord. In comparison to that righteousness, we fall so short. Thank you, Lord, for, for sending your Son to die on the cross. We're about to sing, Jesus paid it all. And we have an obligation for that. We hope it. 
purchased us. We thank you for that. We thank you for sending your son to purchase us. To reveal your glory. Father, I pray for this time that, that people want to commit lives to you, Lord. Even ones that have already been saved, they feel like the gospel is not for them anymore. But really, it, it's for everyone at any time of life. And thank you for that. We need the gospel in our lives and parenting in our daily lives. We need you, Lord. Father, let's take this time very seriously. Father, encourage us to be with you. situations it can be necessary so if you just changed your mind about abortion yeah would you have a vote for someone who was for the killing of children in the womb no i believe in someone's right to choose change your stance on uh yeah it's definitely it's definitely making me think yeah i feel like it's more of the a choice <laughs> when you put it that way it does change your mind would you vote for someone who was pro-abortion yeah so have you just changed your mind about abortion? Yes, I have. <laughs> I believe that people have the right to choose. So have you just changed your mind about abortion? Yes, I have just changed my mind about abortion. You're going to vote differently in the future? Yeah. You mean that? Yeah. Sometimes it's necessary if you're in the situation where you can't support your child. So you're saying that you're changing your mind about abortion right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a woman's right to choose in every situation. It's a different situation. So you're gonna vote differently and think differently about this? Yeah, I think I would. I think I definitely would. I'm a poor abortion. It's never okay to kill a baby in the womb. So you're gonna change your mind about abortion? Yes, I am. 
You gonna vote differently in the future? Yes, vote against abortion. What was it that changed their minds in a matter of seconds? Find out. Go to 180movie.com for details. Jesus Messiah. 